once you awaken, you can never go back. I'd like to take you all on a journey to something that seems so familiar, so recent. I want to retell a story from a different perspective to unveil the truth. Flame on! We've all seen the story, but did we really know what was going on? Let me take you back. NBA 2K16, my career. We were supposed to be living the dream. The story begins with frequency vibrations. A kid from Harlem and his twin sister, he was an elite prospect, made his way to college, bringing his family and friends along for the ride, going to the pros. But what if I told you there's a different perspective of this story? Something that will make you look back and say, hey, the story didn't go like that. But that is what it really was. An entirely different story. An entirely different focus. (laughs) It will make you look at NBA 2K16 and say, did I ever really even play this game? What did we miss? Frequency vibrations. He's a family man, crowd pleaser, always trying to be the peacemaker. Who are his two most important people in his life outside of his parents? Well, that would be his sister and his best friend, which he considers his brother, Victor Van Leer. Today, I want to focus on Victor Van Leer. Vic, F-O-F, friend of free. We all remember Vic. We all say rest in power to Vic. But what was Vic's real story? We know what happened with his parents dying of AIDS, father was locked up his mother passed away he was young freak's family took him in but what was his real story in 2k16 well today i'm going to reveal that to you because we need to get down to what really happened to vic and i've watched this story over and over again and i think i know Victor Van Leer, the original friend of Freak. The guy never forgot where he was from. But like I said, he just couldn't leave the streets behind. He was a high head. He was responsible for his own unraveling, his own undoing. His storyline had a chaotic arc and a tragic ending. Did it have to be this way? Was Vic really looking out for Freak? Was he really holding him down? Or was he looking out for himself? Was Vic misunderstood? Or was it in front of us the entire time? A destructive force? Was Vic responsible for the situations that he ultimately ended up in? This is where it all changed. Even as we moved forward in the 2K universe, there were still hints at Vic. Something happening, something more than what we were told. At the lemonade stand, the fresh squeeze stand, this guy was always wearing conspiracy theory shirts, including a Vic was framed shirt. Why would this guy even wear anything related to Vic? We were freaking and vibing our way into a new lucrative deal for a new team entire family and 
business partnership was there with the exception of the man that we called our own brother, Vic. Where was Vic? When we got that call, Freak was in disbelief. And all we had was a few minor details. He's being chased, car crashes into a tree or something like that. What the hell happened to Vic? There's more to be told about Vic. There's another story, a more sinister story that maybe we've all thought about. It seemed like everybody wanted Vic gone. Nobody wanted Vic around. He was a negative influence that was gonna pull Freak down, gonna sink his career, destroy the team, destroy his business relationships, his future, everything that Freak had built. Look around, team owner, girlfriend, the police. Who helped bring about the demise of Vic? Who was responsible? Was it free? Was it CC? Was it Dom Pagnotti? Vic's death was no accident. The freak couldn't reach his maximum potential with this weighing heavily on his head, knowing that everybody wanted him out. Everybody. I need you guys' help. I need you guys to spread the word. I need you guys to go back. I need everybody to share this video. We need to get to the bottom of this. What happened to Vic? We gotta connect the dots. The biggest conspiracy ever in 2K. Who killed Vic?